Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to talk about, so far, my least favorite products so far this year, 2023. And there've been a lot of hits and a lot of uh, near misses, I think, from losing products, but these are the ones I've been the most disappointed with. Let me just start out with, okay, I'll start out with this one, because I tested it in the store, and then it came in my Allure Beauty box, and that's the Sunday Riley Be Nice Serum. And a lot of people really enjoyed it. And it was in the May Allure Beauty box. And the Allure Beauty box, I think, is like 20 bucks or something. So in this product, I think it's like around 70 And I tested it in the store when it first came out to see what it smelled like. And I was not impressed with it. It smelled to me like toilet bowl cleaner, which, oddly enough, uh, Lincoln really enjoys the smell of toilet bowl cleaner. But that's a whole nother note. Uh, anyway, uh, and when I got this in my Lord Beauty box, I had the same thought. It smells strongly. It just smells like, I don't like that minty, pepperminty smell of like a toilet bowl cleaner. But a lot of people loved it. And a lot of people bought multiple beauty boxes so they get multiple bottles of it for really affordable prices. And maybe, I don't know, and I'm kind of, to be 100% honest, I'm kind of over niacinamide being like the star of the show because it's in nowadays in so many products as a backup star. So I'm kind of over it being like the main deal, I guess. So anyway, especially for the regular retail price, this one is, and the smell, and the star of the show being nice and my, mm, not too exciting. Okay, next up, uh, we've got the Cynic Enjoy Foundation Skip Tone Up Sun Cream. And I will say, I'm not a huge fan of tone up creams in general, a tone up sunscreen, so I shouldn't have bought this. But I did, and there's nothing actually wrong with it, per se, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that really enjoy it, but for me, I found this one just sits on top of my skin and never fully absorbs, and it doesn't uh, tone up enough to the point where I don't want to use foundation over it. So I think I did a first impressions video about it when I first got it, and since then, my opinion of it hasn't changed at all. I just don't love it. I don't love the whole concept of tone-up creams, and uh, some people probably love it, nothing wrong with that. But for me, this one, it just took forever to absorb and I never felt like I was using enough to get actual good sunscreen. So to me, it wasn't great at being a foundation and it wasn't great at being a sunscreen either. So what's the point at that point? But I'm sure there's a lot of people that love it, so nothing wrong with that. Okay, next up, uh, Beauty of Joe's in the Matte Sunstick. So I've had a chance to test this out as it's really meant to be used, which is as a um, reapplication sunscreen. It's not really meant to be used as a uh, first daily sunscreen. It's meant to be used as a reapplication one, and I don't love it for that either. Um, it's too thick, and if you're using it over makeup and things like that, it just doesn't end well. It ends up being matte. It ends up accentuating dry patches. Uh, yeah, so, and it just doesn't do a very good job at that. So I, I'm sure another one that people might love. And Beauty of Joe's and their other sunscreens, a lot of people love um, their newer one with a lot of fragrance in it. I uh, Actually, I really like everything else about this other than the fragrance in it. And then their rice sunscreen, a lot of people love, and this one was just... No go for me. I'll probably try and finish it like on the backs of my hands and things, but for my face or anything else like that, it is definitely an easy pass. Did not like it at all for that. So anyway, okay, next up, I found this to be extremely drying, the Ordinary Glucoside Foaming Cleanser. So they came out, the Ordinary has been releasing new products all year so far, and uh, they came out with this, they came out with another cleanser, an eye serum, a couple of moisturizers, and then uh, this cleanser is just so drying and it, it's more of a second step cleanser because it doesn't do a great job removing makeup and sunscreen, but uh, it's just super drying. After using it, my face feels tight and parched and like squeaky clean, like too clean, like where it's stripped. So uh, maybe for oilier, non-sensitive skin that's not super dry, it might work better. But for me, with my dry, super sensitive skin, this was not a winner at all. I don't even want to... Usually I can finish these like using it as a body cleanser or something like that. But maybe I'll finish it on my brushes. I don't know. I don't even know if it would be very good at that. So, Okay, next up we've got the First Aid Beauty Sculpting Body Lotion, which I think I got at TJ Maxx or I got in a beauty box. I'm not exactly certain which one. 
but uh, I'm instantly turned off when it says sculpting. Visibly firm, tone and tighten. You know what? There's really no lotion that really does that. And I instantly knew, okay, the star of this show is going to be caffeine. Da, 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 da. There we go. Caffeine. It's one of the first ingredients. And it really isn't very hydrating. And it really doesn't, there's no, none of these can visibly tone, tighten, or firm your skin. It's a scam. It's a marketing scam. It plays on people's insecurities. And uh, the only way to do that is to exercise and take care of yourself. Not There's nothing you can physically really apply that's going to do the trick. And this one I think was kind of expensive, actually. And you're just better off going with a good body lotion that's hydrating and eating better and exercising better. That's it. I mean, these can't do anything. So, and I really dislike when brands play on people's insecurities. Okay, next up we've got the Crave Beauty Makeup Rewind, which I got as a free gift. I got this in their new sunscreen as a free gift from something. But anyway, uh, I was expecting actually not to mind this one because I liked their other cleanser. I didn't mind it, but I kind of got over the brand and things like that. But this one has a very strong, fragrant scent. Um, anyway, so I was looking to see if the ingredients were on the back of it, but they're not. The scent is super strong. It lingers. And to be honest, if you're looking for something like a cleansing jelly, uh, this is the one you want. The uh, Isntree LHA Cleansing Jelly. This one is wonderful. This one is not so great, especially for sensitive skin. So I just... The scent is strong, it dissipates, and I mean, it does an okay job, but anyway, there's just better ones out there, so. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm actually not sure if this is a new product for this year or not, but uh, the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Oat Mist. I was excited because it's supposed to be like an oat oil, and you can tell I have not used it much because the two times I used it, I ended up getting a headache after it because the scent in this one is so strong. It uh, has soybean oil, oat, er, oat oil, jojoba oil, and then fragrance. And uh, anyway, it's a strong scent. With the vino, I thought, <clears throat> excuse me, I thought it'd be a little lighter of a scent because I did see the fragrance in there, but I thought maybe it would be light, but it's not light. The scent is heavy and it lingers and I didn't love it. So anyway, I don't even know what to do with it anymore, but eh, there we go. I'm stuck with it. So anyway, okay, so those are my... So far, least favorite products of the year. I will also mention the e.l.f. Uh, sunscreen. What was it? The Holy, not the Holy Hydration. e.l.f. came out with a uh, mineral tone-up sunscreen or a tinted sunscreen. And my, I liked it, but my skin didn't like it because it freaked out. It was very drying. So I actually, that was one of the few things I returned uh, because I just didn't like it. And then the Clinique Moisture Surge sunscreen was the other thing I returned this year that I didn't love. So... Anyway, interested in hearing from you guys if you had any uh, easy fails or hard, easy passes or products that just disappointed you. Uh, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Okay, thanks so much. Bye, guys.